As Jane entered the hospital, a sense of unease washed over her. The lights above flickered intermittently, casting long, dancing shadows that seemed to have a life of their own. The air felt thick, as if imbued with an energy that was unsettling, yet unexplainable. Jane shook off the feeling, chiding herself for her overactive imagination. After all, it was just another night shift as a cleaner in the seemingly benign hospital. As she began to navigate the labyrinth of quiet hallways, her eyes fell upon an oddly placed wheelchair. It had moved from its regular spot and she couldn't recall doing it. A flutter of anxiety stirred within her, but she brushed it off, attributing it to a possible lapse in memory. With each step, the feeling of unease seemed to grow, wrapping itself around her like a spectral shroud. Then it happened. A faint whisper, barely audible, yet stark in the silent hallway. It was as if the walls themselves were communicating in hushed tones. Her grip tightened around her cleaning cart, knuckles whitening as she strained to locate the source of the sound. Suddenly, a shadow darted at the periphery of her vision. She froze, her heart pounding an erratic rhythm against her ribcage. Was it her mind playing tricks on her or was there something more sinister at play? She was no stranger to the occasional odd occurrence, the inexplicable cold spots, the fleeting shadows that were always just out of sight. But never had they been so persistent, so vivid. As she stood there, the whispering walls, the shifting shadow and the displaced wheelchair began to form a chilling picture. In that moment, Jane realized that something was wrong, something beyond explanation. This was not just another night at the hospital. This was the beginning of an ordeal that would challenge her understanding of reality. An eerie beginning to a night that promised to be filled with more than just the usual cleaning rounds. Jane's unease continued to grow as she walked through the hospital. The silence of the night was punctuated by the distant hum of the flickering lights. A sense of dread hung in the air, making each step feel heavier than the last. The hospital was usually a place of healing, but tonight it felt more like a labyrinth of the unknown, each corner holding a new surprise. As she continued her rounds, she began to notice something odd. Doors she had just cleaned and securely shut were now slightly ajar. She paused, her mind racing. She was certain she had closed them, hadn't she? Or was the fatigue playing tricks on her mind? She attempted to shrug it off, blaming it on a draft or perhaps a forgetful colleague. Yet the feeling of unease clung to her like a second skin. The flickering lights seemed to have a life of their own, their eerie glow following her as she moved from room to room. She could have sworn she heard whispers, like ghostly echoes bouncing off the hospital's stark white walls, intertwining with the creaking of floorboards under her weight. The sound seemed to originate from the empty rooms, adding to the symphony of the unsettling night. Pushing a cart down the hallway, she stumbled upon a scene that made her heart skip a beat. A medical cabinet, usually standing tall and immovable, had been knocked over. Its contents, vials, bandages and surgical tools, lay scattered across the floor, gleaming under the flickering lights. She stood there staring at the mess, her mind struggling to find a logical explanation. Who could have knocked it over? There was no one else around. A chill ran down her spine as she thought about the strength it would have taken to topple the heavy cabinet. It was as if an invisible force was at play, toying with her nerves. Deep down, Jane knew something was wrong. She could feel it. The unsettling discoveries were not mere coincidences. They were signs, warnings perhaps, of something lurking in the shadows. As she slowly picked up the scattered medical supplies, she couldn't shake off the feeling that she was not alone in the hospital tonight. Jane was on edge as she continued her rounds through the hospital. She couldn't shake the sensation of being watched. It was as if a pair of unseen eyes were following her every move, their gaze prickling the back of her neck like icy needles. It was a constant, nagging feeling that sent shivers down her spine and made her heart pound in her chest. She entered another patient's room, her hands trembling slightly as she reached for the door handle. The room was eerily quiet. The only sound was the low hum of the ventilator and the distant echo of her own footsteps. As she switched on the light, the sight that greeted her was completely unexpected. The bed was unmade, 
the sheets thrown about in a chaotic mess. The patient's belongings were scattered across the floor as if in the midst of a hurried departure. Personal items like a worn-out paperback, a pair of reading glasses and a small framed photograph were strewn about the room. But the most disconcerting thing was the glaring absence of the patient. Jane's heart skipped a beat. The patient, an elderly man recovering from a recent surgery, was nowhere to be found. She knew for a fact that he was unable to walk on his own. A sense of dread washed over her as she looked around the room, her eyes wide with fear. She checked the attached bathroom under the bed, even the small closet, but there was no sign of the patient. The room felt cold, the air heavy with a sense of foreboding. Jane's breath hitched in her throat. She tried to convince herself that there might be a logical explanation. Perhaps the patient had been moved to another room, or maybe he had been discharged. But she knew that neither of those scenarios were likely. She would have been informed. She stood in the middle of the room, her heart pounding as the reality of the situation started to sink in. The feeling of unease that had been nagging her all night intensified. She felt a chill run down her spine. Jane knew that something was seriously wrong. There was no sign of the patient. The room was empty, and yet it felt like something was still there. A presence that was almost tangible. A sense of dread hung in the air. The hospital seemed to hold its breath, waiting for what would come next. Jane's heart pounded in her chest as she stood in the empty patient's room. The room was devoid of life, yet it felt heavy with an unseen presence, a presence that sent chills racing down her spine. Her mind was a whirlwind of questions, each more unnerving than the last. She tried to rationalize the strange occurrences. Could it all be a result of her overworked mind playing tricks on her, or was she just being superstitious, attributing the oddities to some supernatural force? She strained her brain for logical explanations, but they seemed to slip through her fingers like sand, leaving behind an unsettling void. She contemplated her job, her commitment to the hospital. The place she once considered a sanctuary now seemed like a maze of shadows and whispers. Could she continue working in this eerie environment? She pondered over the question, her heart aching at the thought of leaving her job behind. But the fear, the incessant dread, was slowly eating away at her resolve. The fate of the missing patient haunted her thoughts. She wondered about the person who once occupied the bed, their life, their story. Were they a victim of the same unspoken horror that now loomed over her? She tried to shake off the thought, but it clung to her like a stubborn specter refusing to be disregarded. She questioned the entity that could be haunting the hospital. Was it a restless spirit trapped within the confines of the building, or perhaps something more sinister? The whispers, the shadows, the inexplicable happenings, they all pointed to something beyond the realm of the living, something that sent shivers down her spine and made her blood run cold. Jane's heart pounded in her chest as she stood in the empty patient's room. She was caught in a web of fear and uncertainty her mind teetering on the brink of chaos. As Jane stood in the silent, eerie hospital, she was left with more questions than answers. As the sun begins to rise, Jane's night shift comes to an end. The hospital, a site of healing and solace, had transformed into a theater of terror and uncertainty for her. The horrifying experiences of the night, the inexplicable sounds, the moving shadows, the vanishing patient, all seemed to echo in her mind creating a symphony of fear. Jane's footsteps echoed in the empty hallway as she made her way towards the exit, each step heavier than the last. The question lingered in her mind, should she return to this place of unseen horrors, or should she forsake it forever, leaving the mysteries unanswered? The decision weighed heavy on her heart, but for now, the need to escape this chilling atmosphere was paramount. As Jane stepped out into the morning light, she couldn't shake off the chilling feeling that something was still watching her from the hospital's darkened windows. The haunting conclusion of her night shift left a lingering dread that would follow her long after she left the hospital grounds.